Sugar is the world's most volatile commodity market because every sugar-producing nation subsidizes. Take Brazil, for example. They annually spend more than $2.5 billion on sugar subsidies. To keep pace, India subsidizes to the tune of $1.7 billion, while Thailand spends $1.3 billion. All those subsidies make it a tough market for U.S. farmers. That's where U.S. sugar policy comes in. But unlike other countries, American farmers don't get government checks. Instead, producers get government loans that are repaid with interest, which means it costs taxpayers nothing. Plus, unneeded subsidized imports are kept from flooding the U.S. market. Today, the policy backs 142,000 U.S. jobs, and domestic producers pump $20 billion into the economy. America hasn't always had a thriving U.S. sugar industry. We used to rely too much on imports. During World War II, that meant rationing. Sugar was in such short supply, it was the first commodity rationed and the last removed from the rationing list. Such food shortages are why Congress created policies to encourage family farmers to grow food right here at home. Makes you wonder why some critics want to destroy America's no-cost sugar policy and again become dependent on subsidized foreign imports.